What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to capitalize all words in any given string. So let's get into it. All right, so on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a uh, poem here by Langston Hughes. And what we wanna do is for every word in the strings going across uh, columns A and B, we wanna capitalize the first letter in each of these words. So we'll call this sub, uh, capitalized words in string and then we'll declare our variables we're gonna have word as a range and then we're gonna have worksheet WS as our worksheet and we'll have a row count as long and then our column count also as long and what we're going to do first is we're going to set our worksheet so ws is going to be equal to this workbook sheets and the name of the sheet here is sheet one so sheet one and then we're going to activate our sheet just in case we were to act uh, to access this macro from a different sheet to make sure we're on the right one and then we'll get our row count so our row count is going to be equal to WS, the worksheet we set here, and it's going to be used cells, rows, dot count, comma one, and then in, and we're going to be counting up. So XL up, and then we're ending with row. So in this case, our row count should be four, and then our column count will be equal to WS cells. Oops. One columns count, and we're going to be counting to the left. So XL to left column. I, spell, I did not spell that right. Uh, there we go. Yep. Cool. So now we're going to use a for loop to go through each cell in this range we have here. And in order to do that, we're gonna say for each word in range, and our range is gonna be from this cell, one, one, down four over two, but instead of having like a static, so if it was a static range, we could just say cells down four over two, or we could even just have our range look like this. But assuming we don't know how many cells are gonna be in our range, we're gonna make it dynamic. So we're just gonna use cells one, one, and cells row count, column count. All right, and then for each word value, we're gonna use our string conversion, word value, and then we're gonna do VB proper case. So Visual Basic has its own function that lets you, that actually performs this for us. So what we'll be doing is converting all of these words into the quote unquote proper case so that every word in each of these strings will uh, start off with a capitalized letter. All right, so then now we're gonna do next word. So that closes our for loop and this should be it. So let's go ahead and run it. And just like that, you see all the words now start with a capital letter and um, I'm gonna quickly go over, so the next sheet, sheet two, it has words that are all capitalized. And with the same code, it'll actually do the same thing. So it, each letter in these words will start with a capital letter and end with lowercase letters. So just a quick example to show that it works kind of both ways. So all we have to do now is just change our sheet from sheet one to sheet two up here, and then just run it, and boom, just like that. We've got our proper case. 
So, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.